I'm Commissioner Nancy Jester and welcome to Make DeKalb Strong. Today's edition is PWI and water billing. Uh, so today, by the way, is day 194 that DeKalb County has been without a Public Works and Infrastructure Committee. This is important uh, because, of course, we are under a federal consent decree for sanitary sewer overflows. We have water billing issues. We have road issues. We have all kinds of things under the portfolio of Public Works that are getting, um, not getting their due attention because we don't have a committee. Uh, I used to do um, point person meetings, although I'm not quite sure what a point person was, about Public Works, but now our presiding officer has decided to fold PWI into uh, planning and economic development and that committee doesn't meet nearly as often. We did meet today, however, and we did discuss, um, I'm not on that committee, um, but we did discuss the um, billing issue in DeKalb County uh, with water, and uh, I'm, I'm glad that we did because the administration has recognized, based on the pressure that um, some of the commissioners, my fellow commissioners and I brought about um, the extreme water billing issues we're seeing, uh, and you, the public, uh, have been advocating very effectively for yourself on social media and in other regards regarding um, how, uh, you know, these ridiculous bills that you're getting and, and, and how it's affecting you. So there is now um, in place, uh, I called for it and um, uh, the administration heard it and they are now putting uh, in place a moratorium on shutting off your water uh, if your bill, bill is in dispute. So you've got to dispute your bill, you've got to call in and get it officially disputed, then you will have to pay um, a calculated average for your bill, but you will not be subject to having your water shut off. So make sure you're in the process. Um, the whole presentation really sort of hinged on, they, uh, the administration has recognized that they were having just sort of a patterned reaction to water billing issues and they have acknowledged that, wait a minute, we need to step back and have a more customer friendly uh, review of this, even some third party reviews of this, even some anal taking water meters out and having them tested uh, because everybody can't suddenly all have these high water bill issues and everybody cannot possibly have a leak that they have not been able to detect. There are some anomalous things going on. Uh, calibration issues perhaps, um, maybe some glitches in potentially or something in software errors with the billing software. We don't know, but we've got to get to the bottom of it and we can't be shutting off people's water when that is um, that process is ongoing. So I'm pleased that that has happened. Uh, we still need a public works committee because we still have all kinds of issues. We have federal consent decree and we have um, we have federal consent decree and we have uh, capacity issues that we are still dealing with and a whole host of planning uh, issues for our uh, capacity that I'm very concerned about are not getting um, thought through at the administrative level. I know the new folks in the watershed department are thinking about it and trying to make plans for it, but the top level and your elected officials, I'm not sure they're focused as they should be on this issue. So uh, we will continue to report on this day 194 without a public works committee. Stay tuned.